Okay, welcome back. It is, we are still working on the bike and I'm gonna take like a little interlude and just might as well clean the carbs. Here's where we are at. So, um, I cleaned up the bike a little bit. I took off the two fenders. They are getting cleaned. So I'm sanding them, I'm gonna prime and paint them. You can see that they're not the original colors. So I'm putting them back to the original colors and working on the dash a little bit. And uh, so we are going to basically just, we've got to do the carbs anyway. So let us work on the carbs. So let's start. And I'm going to take them apart. I'm going to clean them. I'm going to put them in the ultrasonic as well. So let us start. And stand by one second. Let me get a little cut. So I'm going to tell you the key to cleaning these carbs is basically you need to physically clean every single orifice. And it is, so if there is a jet, you need to put something through the jet. I have some pieces of wire that I'm going to put through everything I'm going to send put through the ultrasonic. So it is going to look like brand new and yeah, really kind of bad. Yeah. Look at, there's a lot of rust popping out. It's nice that everything is coming out easily. Jet looks good. And This is the pilot jet. And it is really not blocked, actually. So obviously, I'm, I'm still putting everything through the ultrasonic, but it's. So I am going to clean with a wire. I'm putting the wire through it. So I'm physically making sure it gets clean. I'm also going to clean it with uh, compressed air. Every single orifice will get cleaned. Here's the, um, the main jet. Main jet never really gets clogged. That one's not clogged. It's just a huge hole. And Well, this is coming apart really easily, actually. There's a spring. Wow, that came out easily, too. And so there is a little ball bearing in here. And ball bearing is kind of gummed up in there. So I'm going to not, I don't want to lose it. So I'm going to put it back in here. Everything's 
Everything's getting cleaned. Here is the um, the uh, enricher. I'm going to call it the enricher jet. And that is not clogged either, which is nice. And that next is wow it's really the screen I'm gonna replace the filter there's like a little screen right here. And it is, there's no screen right here, it's just filled with rust. Clean that as well. So here's the air mixture screw. We're gonna see how many times it is turned in. One half, one, one half, one and three quarters. The left side carp normally is, the standard is one and a half turns out. The right hand side carp, I believe it's two turns out. Everything is coming off really easily. Here's the idle set screw. And this is this is the enricher um, well the enricher lever. A lot of people want to call it the choke lever. It came out easily, which is nice. So we have taken everything out. I'm going to quickly blow through everything. And again, it is all going in the ultrasonic cleaner. Right here, this is the overflow. Okay. So there's the first one. So let's take the second one apart. And So, these are just so loose. This is really fouled right here. It's filled with rust. The nice thing is that the screen caught it, but before it had a chance to block the jets. But it's really, it smells like there's water in there. So the bowl's probably in bad shape. Boy, that bowl is loose. Not really much stuff down in there.
bowl's really bad. Lots of garbage in there. Comes apart really easily. Jet looks slightly different than the other one. Looks okay. And let's take a look at the idle jet. Idle jet is not clogged either. Wow. Yeah, when we put these in the ultrasonic, we will get them. I mean, they will look brand new. I forgot to take this out. That is just the accelerator pump body. So let's take out the... Everything is really loose. That should not be that loose. That's the main jet. Rain jet's huge, so it's never really blocked. Although I have seen it blocked before, but it's normally never blocked. Let's see how. Okay. And that's not, it's kind of coming out. It is. It's not coming out. There it is. Let's take a look at the little ball to see how the little ball is inside. It's like a little nylon ball. And And you saw me blow through the first carb. I'll blow through all the carbs before we even reassemble it. So I'm just doing that now. To, it's like a gentle reminder. I'm going to hold up on getting that out right now. And let's take the enricher tube out. Again, it's very loose. That one actually is blocked. Let me just blow it out. It blew out, but it's still blocked. I get this wire from my wire brush. I just pull a bristle out. Okay. Let's see how many turns this is in. One half. One. One half. One and a half. Everything is not stuck. That's great. The yeah, I'll just want to screw out. Hopefully the enricher lever is not stuck. The screw is very loose. And so hopefully the enricher slides out easily. 
and it does. So we have everything out. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these in the um, ultrasonic probably three or four times. So I will be back once I get them out of the ultrasonic.